Wants can to I say, say something? Yeah, please, please. Everybody can. Uh, uh, yeah, so, your, so yeah. again, I want to see uh, Sudhir Kale here from Gold Coast yeah. in Australia. So wonderful meeting as usual. Uh, you know, like everybody talking about increasing the number of members and just increasing members for the sake of increasing members doesn't do it for me. And I don't think it should do it for any organization. I think way back when uh, and, uh, you know, I'm so relief of that. The professional side, who will contribute? Okay, we don't want that weight. And definitely go for students and, you know, go for people who are disadvantaged, who will benefit from us. But then, you know, don't just say, you know, I mean, again, this is not a popularity contest. This is not a democracy kind of thing. So that was the first point I had. Second was, I think, of the discussion here in terms of helping is geared towards upper middle class and middle class Maharashtrians in India. And uh, I just like to shake that up a bit, you know, like maybe we can expand our reach. And number two, more than the target segment in India that we are going to help, you have to change the mindset of that target segment because, I mean, like at least for the last two, three generations, I've experienced this. The mindset of the Indian parents is doctor, engineer, IT, MBA. Okay. And I think that is doing huge disservice to millions of kids in India. You know, the person may be a good artist. The person, you know, may want to do something in the trades. The person wants to be a mechanic. I mean, mechanics earn 10 times more than some of the great MBAs. So I think we have to get away from that. I just finished doing a uh, online course for people at IIM Trichy uh, for the MBA program. And they were shocked that, you know, hey, I'm an Indian brown skinned person who, has, who works for casinos. I mean, it's totally out of their realm of thinking. So if we can somehow shake that up a bit, Say that, hey, there are occupations, there are many opportunities, these occupations do pay well, because frankly, I'm getting sick of tired of this, you know, IIT, MBA, uh, IT and uh, medical kind of thing, you know, though I'm culprit of that, but that's again, thanks to parental pressure. The uh, third one is, uh, play contributions, you know, like, and a lot of smart students are contributing in their own individual capacity, like I said, you know, I am Trichila online course. Uh, first year it was face to face, and Sangeeta has also has done that for two years. Fine, we do it in our individual capacity, but I think we need to publicize that in, through GMG because GMG should get some credit because it's the same person doing that. And if we can set up some kind of a mechanism for that, I think that would be fantastic. And the fourth one is, uh, you know, the contribution of the mentors. I mean, for 11 weeks, and I, you know, I sat through all of that. People worked really, really hard to train the nine. 16, weeks. 16, 16 weeks. 16 weeks, sorry, gosh. 16 weeks. Time flies when you're having fun, eh? <laughs> Yeah, so for 16 weeks. And uh, like, if you saw those these people at the beginning and towards the end, it was like, frogs into prince it's almost like a fairy tale and even beef has done very well you know they went uh, like uh, ananji mentioned uh, uh, you know they went to shark tank and got some money and you know there's another group they you know that presented you know in front of the prime minister and all that so it was a lot of hard work and my suggestion you know that kind of ties in with wanting to mg financially sustainable is what the next time we, we do it, what if we say that, you know, hey, we will give you all this training, but then in return for that, we would about, you know, five to 10% of the equity. So for example, you know, uh, even we went to Shark Tank, I think they got uh, 30 lakhs for 3% of the company. So what that means is that the company was valued at a hundred million rupees. Okay, not bad. 
100 million rupees in Australian terms would be about $2 million. So if you get 10% of that, and if you get that, you know, over a period of time from about 30, 40 companies, then we are definitely going to be a financially viable entity. And then we can actually help people in, in kind as well, not just in terms of the services, we can help them by way of cash as well. So these are the few suggestions I have. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Yeah. Ananji, your uh, response to this. Yeah, see, mainly because we are not uh, going uh, for uh, asking any uh, equity or uh, anything like that, because this we are yet to prove ourselves. Going ahead, we will definitely do that. We have proved it ourselves one time. We have to prove ourselves. We have to prove to the people that we are... There will be time when people will, as uh, I was telling with Ashwin Abhyanka's uh, GMG entrepreneurship program, people will be vibing to be part of our Thai Life program. They will pay the membership. But for that, we have to reach to that level. Having said that, we have a lot of suggestions, but we have a lot of people also who have to uh, speak going ahead. Uh, let us continue and let us be concise uh, so that uh, we can uh, listen to everybody, listen to everybody. I think we are done with Middle East. Shraddha, do you have to say anything? Otherwise